So, Techno has successfully launched the Phantom V Fold at this year's Mobile World Congress, revealing to the world what appears to be the cheapest tablet type foldable. And I was opportunity to be at MWC23 to witness this gently by Techno as they continue to break into the premium segment. From my hands on experience with the V Fold, I can only arrive at one conclusion Techno is not here to play. So it was MWC last week and Techno flew I and a few others to Barcelona, Spain to experience all of the new tech at the Mobile World Congress and more importantly to check out what surprises they had in store. Interestingly, the Phantom V Fold was not the only new tech Techno had on display at MWC. There was the new Spark 10 Pro, the already available Phantom X2 Pro, some accessories and laptops. Yeah, Techno is onto something and they are building up their ecosystem. Now the Phantom V Fold might be their latest and most premium smartphone yet, but it's not their first attempt targeting the premium segment. A few months ago, we saw the Phantom X2 Pro with the retractable portrait camera, and now we have them competing in the foldable segment. Now this becomes more interesting when you realize that aside the fact that there are not many manufacturers daring into foldables, before now only Samsung had global availability as other manufacturers have targeted just the Chinese or Asian market. The Phantom V Fold is the first, aside Samsung, to make a globally available tablet style foldable. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the best part, it is significantly more affordable than all of the competition, with a starting price of around $10.99 US dollars, all while offering that premium flagship foldable feel, solid build quality, and pretty much an external display design with which Samsung would adopt. It has pretty much the aspect ratio of the standard slab phone, meaning your apps will adapt well and have nothing cut off. The right edge of the external display is curved nicely. As for the internal display, we see one with a less visible crease, which I'd say looks a lot better, but with the downside of not being able to maintain different flex angles. You can only fold it closed or open, no in between. It also folds flat with no gaps in between, so less concerns about getting dust into the display. It has 2K resolution. And it looks great. On both displays, we have LTPO technology that is 120Hz variable refresh rate. I say Techno pretty much went all out on this one, and I only wish I had more time with the Phantom V Fold. But on the bright side, it is coming to Nigeria soon, and I might get a unit and use it more to give a proper and more detailed review. One thing you'd notice when operating the Phantom V Fold is the smoothness of the software. A lot smoother than what we're used to with iOS. This runs on a fold version of their software, and it has been optimized for over 2,000 apps. It can multitask quite well with one of its tricks being able to go into split screen mode by just swiping down from the middle. As far as specs go, the Phantom V Fold is right up there with the big guns, sporting the Dimensity 9000 Plus, which is a flagship processor, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 or 512GB memory options. It gets a 5000mAh battery. I think that is also the largest battery on the foldable need to confirm that. I may not have had enough time with the Phantom V Fold, but I held it long enough to check out its cameras, which left quite the impression, especially for the fact that, like most foldables, you can use the rear camera for selfies. The dynamic range, skin tones, and sharpness was quite impressive and arguably the best I've seen from any techno phone. Portraits are near perfect with edge detection. Now, I actually look forward to testing it more when it becomes officially available in Nigeria. It is capable of shooting videos up to 4K 60 frames per second even when you are using the rear camera for selfies and it looks really sharp with impressive HDR. Okay, this is a video from the rear camera of the Techno Phantom T4. We're only shooting 4K at 60 FPS from at Mobile World Congress. Uh, I'm using the rear camera as a selfie camera thanks to the external display which looks awesome by the way. Dynamic range is great. Let me face the sun. And you see, it's my face, and it doesn't expose everything. Note that the Phantom V Fold I got hands-on experience with were not retail versions, more of sample units, some even had prototype branded on them. That is to say, the final retail version should have even more fine-tuned experience. For their first attempts at a foldable, I'd say Techno has done amazing and I can't wait to see what more surprises they have in store for the competition. Let me know your thoughts on the Phantom V Fold and what your expectations are. Thank you.